Yeah, I mean, I, I know Andy got through five and he got it through it, but he did not have his best day stuff-wise or command-wise. We played the heck out of defense. Uh, Albert was fantastic. Um, that, was, that was really a big part. The outfielders really had a big part in the game. Schwarber almost had a circus catch also, but give, give the defense credit. Uh, when you catch the ball like that, the double play, when uh, Javi gets up in the air and a double play first, that really, that was, that's a, a big difference maker in that game. Also, uh, having to use um, CJ for two innings. I mean, there was a lot of little nuance in that game again today, but it really, without that defense, it doesn't look anything like that. Um, I, yeah, I think there's almost that innate um, sixth sense of movement. They're moving before the ball's actually, I mean, it's probably impossible, but they watch the swing so well, they understand swings. And uh, I just think it has something to do with focus. And, you know, we all, whenever you play a game, you all have a maybe a certain attribute that stands out just unknowingly. And it is, it's, there's something within, and I think, Again, I've, I've compared Albert to Jimmy. I mean, they're, they're really similar, man. I watch him out there. One's left-handed, one's right-handed. But uh, the plays that he made today, especially the one where he had to lean back, that's like textbook 101 on a ball right over your head like that. He didn't have time to flip his head around. He didn't. There was He couldn't. So you, lay, you lean back. So check that one out. That is 101, and not everybody can do that. Um, his ability to time his jumps, to get to the wall. He plays the ball properly. Uh, all that stuff. It's really fun to watch him play out there. Very difficult. And the wind and uh, like even uh, I think Turner thought he hit a home run that last at bat. He broke. I talked to him. Albert said it was you know looked hot coming off the bat. The way that Turner reacted, he thought it was so. You saw him break back originally, and that's another thing. You watch. You try to hear uh, the crack of the bat. You actually do. Uh, big strong guy, full swing. That's when you get fooled. When a guy takes a full hack, big strong guy and ends up uh, dumping in front of you because your first reaction would be to move backward. So uh, all that stuff. When you teach outfield play, man, um, you really need to teach that kind of uh, concept also. Crack of the bat, big, strong guy, full swing. You don't know if it's off the end of the bat. You never leave the ground. You keep your feet on the ground the way he drop steps and goes. Uh, really, he's taught well. I mean, beyond instinct, he's been taught really well. I could. I, I thought. I thought it might have hit the wall. I did because he, his back was to us at some point, um, and I. You know, the, I think it hit the, the vine more than it hit the wall. But the vine being part of the wall, uh, I can't. There's no other way that they can call that, because um, for the umpires to do, to try to differentiate between the wall and ivy, so I don't blame them for wanting to make it one and the same. Uh, I think it just scraped. Uh, the Ivy, and that's, I think Kyle told me the same thing. So, what are you going to do? Yeah, I mean, we played the Cardinals first, and then uh, the Brewers, who I think are much improved, and then beat the Dodgers here. Uh, it's not bad. That's not, that's not a bad... Um, no, you're right. Winning series is, should, is and should always be your goal. You're not going to win them all, obviously. So, Taking two out of three against tough teams that they, they were here to win. There's no question about it. We pitched, they pitched. We both sides pitched well. I mean, even four nothing today, what was it, one nothing yesterday. The two one game. I mean, or three whatever it was. Um, there's been some really good pitching going on, and uh, you know the elements play into it a little bit, no doubt about it. But it's the same for both sides. Um, uh, CJ was a big uh, force in today's game. Big. I mean. The way the bullpen was lined up and not wanting to use Grimm, wanting to save U Iwahara for later, uh, not wanting to beat up on Strope, Rondon, sore knee, Montgomery, two innings, all that. They have to consider all that. And you're still trying to, if something were to go poorly, you have to still think about extra innings somehow. So all these uh, different thoughts are a concern. But the guys did a great job. He did one on that on that chopper, but he said he was fine. And I and I saw him. I watched him throw afterwards. I I thought he was absolutely fine. Was that his back? No, he just he did something with his leg. He did like a a leg kind of a stretch. But even when he threw his first pitch, I saw that there was nothing bothering him whatsoever. Yeah, yeah I mean it's just I he I saw the play. I thought he slipped maybe a smidgen. I thought that's what it was and. Uh, you know, he's had that history, so, you know, the antenna go up very quickly. And, um, but he was fine. Anything more dependent on Rondon? 
Uh, not def not overtly definitive, other than he felt really good today. Um, talking to PJ, we don't anticipate anything uh, extended. Or I'm thinking like maybe tomorrow if he's he told he told uh, last year he felt great in the bullpen today. So we'll, we'll see what he looks like when he comes in tomorrow. I was anticipating two days and then play him on Saturday, but we'll see. I don't see anything. I'm calling. I'm going off of what the boys tell me upstairs. Yeah. Do you have any idea what the, their threshold is? Or uh, I I think what well, I when when the throw comes in, if the throw takes you there, then they don't. That's that's permissible. It's a bad rule. I, I'm not into the rule at all. Um, I mean, I just I prefer Schwarber just runs the catcher over if he's in your way. I mean, that that as far as I know, that's the spirit of the of the rule also. So everybody's trying to avoid being tagged out so badly if we talked about this they're going to get the runner's going to get hurt before the the catcher is so when the guy's in your way run him over i have no issue with that whatsoever Oof. that ball was mangled um was a was a 2 -0 count right 2 -0 fastball i mean and just like toll's ball yesterday those balls are really crushed into the wind i mean even anthony's home run was really well struck too but addy i mean that that, that cleared everything didn't it that was, poof, that came off hot. I knew some, even the fly balls, he had a couple pop-ups. He was all over that stuff. I thought Jason swung the bat again well today. Um, you know, Javi's uh, getting back in the groove at the plate a little bit better. Our lefties handled the lefty pretty good today overall. So I thought it was a nice day. Joe, yes, sir. Um, the way the way he sets his hand, the way where he sets his hands, and the way he starts the bat. He's starting the bat. He's starting his movement much earlier. He's he's more on time right now, and it's you just uh, the hands are way more active, um, and um, he's 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 playing with some confidence. He's hitting with some confidence right now. I I totally it's going to keep getting better because he's just he's just uh, getting a total feel a grasp of this new movement, and from the beginning of spring training to now, you could just see it getting better and better. Yes. Is there such a thing as an unexpected out and getting them in the instance of like Javi, for instance, today? I mean, just outs that these guys are almost creating oh, yeah. that maybe, and how that changes an entire mindset for them as well as a pitcher? Of course. I mean, it's, uh, that's, you know, the thing that I talk to our guys, and I, I think I've said it to you guys before, it's the only game where the defense has the baseball. So we need to dictate the action. Whenever you could, you need to make the routine plays, absolutely. But whenever you can make the, the, the little bit better than routine, when you catch line drives because of positioning or just athleticism, totally deflates the other side. And that's almost like hitting a home run or getting a bases loaded double regarding the, um, the energy that, that's created on the, in, in your dugout. So we feed off of our defense. We absolutely do. Um, when we make a good play, the whole bench goes nuts. Guys come off the field, you see how they congratulate one another. It's a part... You know, we really, we're really into it. Uh, I'm not saying everybody else is not, but I'm, you know, we're, we're, we're noted to have a really good offensive ball club. I think uh, I'm really more enamored with our defensive side of the game.